one of the local questions I guess you may have heard about today is, is um, President Magnusburg is one of the prisons that are talking about closing. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on that and what solutions can we take? Because a lot of people in St. Lawrence County think that's a very neat thing with almost 300 jobs on the line. If I could uh, take a stab at that one, uh, first of all, this past year, uh, the Assembly Republican Conference held hearings across the state about uh, these types of closures. Uh, I think that I want to see the specific details, and we're calling on the Commissioner of Corrections to roll out all the details of how they arrived at these particular decisions. I don't know if you noticed, but all the recommended closures are all upstate, and uh, certainly I think that that makes this plan very suspect. We're going to call for hearings. Uh, also, the fact that there's been no administrative cuts whatsoever, and uh, so we're, we're, people are making $100,000 a year, those jobs, uh, they're not even looking at, at that. So this is a negative impact for the North Country. We think it's outrageous. And so we're going to push uh, for full disclosure how they arrived at these decisions and then see where it goes from there. But also calling the governor and the corrections uh, commissioner to do something about reducing the, shall we say, top laden administrative side. I, th I think it's uh, what's, this is also a signal of that. The Democrat leadership, as we've said, whether it's the governor, assembly, or the Senate, are all from New York City, and they do not understand uh, how many of these prisons are part of an economic engine that's critically important in the North Country and other parts of the state. And if you take away this economic engine, you're just going to exacerbate a bad job situation right now, whether it's in Ogdensburg or, as I said, in other parts of the state. And what's important, and you can see, that people power works. Patty Ritchie, county clerk, started a petition drive on the license plates, and now we see that fee is gone. And she's now started a petition drive in terms of keeping that prison open. And I think that's where you, ha you can be successful. People power. And people should rise up and say, we're not, we do not want this prison closed. Join that petition drive, and we'll be successful. 